Hey everybody, welcome to the forest. It's a beautiful October morning and uh, it's a good day because we have achieved total break-in. <laughs> it's a multi-stage break-in for my demand four and a half liter uh, 718 Spider. The way it goes is 1,500 miles, got to take it real easy. Mm -hmm. Upshift at six, no multi-gear full throttle pulls, the whole deal. Then an oil change and a Blackstone test. If you don't know what that is, it's an oil analysis where they make sure there's no metals or other funkiness in your oil. Now, that first test, the oil's pretty nasty. Break-in oil, new engine, it's pretty gross. That's why you take it out quickly. Then we do new oil, and you drive for another 2,000 miles, you get an oil change at 3,500. Okay, so I went back to BBI Autosport, another oil change, another Blackstone test, and we are good to go. Doctor says everything's fine. Kosher. Now you can go sprint. Okay. Kosher. Now the reason for all that really is longevity. If you don't care about the longevity of the engine, you don't have to do all those hoops. You can you can just pretty much run it, but you're going to need a rebuild sooner than if you don't. Who who? That's not a good idea. If you do it this way, this demand four and a half engine should be good for the same as if it was stock. That's that's the point of the the break in. Uh, if you don't know, uh, this is a 4.5 liter, 570 horsepower, 450 torque, those numbers are at the crank, naturally aspirated, high compression, flat six engine. We also have a re-geared six speed manual gearbox, two through five are shorter. That fixes the only two problems that I ever had with the Spider. Other than that, this car is basically perfect. And you have a lighter uh, clutch and flywheel. Yes. So it revs even a little bit quicker. Yes, and a Quaif limited slip differential, which is better than what you get with Porsche. Um, also, I've gone to R Strata to put in those beautiful GT4 painted to match uh, side scoops, which look better than the Spider ones. And R Strata painted my brake calipers Carmine Red, which matched my interior better than the um, guards red calipers that it came with right. on the PCCB. So now we're cohesive, and believe it or not, I'm going to say this, I'm going to mean it, the car's done. It's not a project, it's not ongoing. These were the things, and they are done, and we now have the perfect car. But most importantly, now we can go full throttle yes. uh, and we're, enjoy it. Because last time we drove this, it was we cold had to and shift wet. at like 6,000 RPM, right? Yeah. And it was cold and wet. Right. It was the the worst condition basically not the worst but not ideal definitely not now ideal. it's warm it's dry we have power we're broken in we are good to go and it would not be possible for us to be up here today without this sponsor who we got to talk about real quick you know guys i love driving my car in the canyons but you know what drives me nuts this dirt making the U-turns, getting in and out of the car to film, my car gets filled with dirt. Fortunately, today's sponsor has brought a solution. Today's video is brought to you by the Fantic Vacuum Cleaners, and we've got two of them today, the V7 and the V8. This thing, the V7 Pocket, is tiny. Look at this, right together, USB-C, battery-powered, two modes, high and higher. This thing can vacuum your entire car multiple times on a charge. It can reach in the little crevices. It's USB-C rechargeable, super powerful, and very quiet. Plus, easily compact, put it in the bag, keep it in your trunk, and have it when you're ready. And we've got the V8. No, it's not an extra cylinder, but it is extra accessories. Look at this, full hose setup. Now I can get into extra tight crevices with a special wand and I can interchange the brush for cleaning my carpets. So between the two of these things, I've got every scenario covered. This thing can vacuum for 27 continuous minutes on low or 12 continuous minutes on high, meaning on one charge, you can vacuum your whole car multiple times. These vacuums are super versatile. I'm cleaning a car today, but you could clean your keyboard, your laptop, your desk, a pet house, a piano, your office, and more. 
It only takes two to two and a half hours to be fully charged, and it can share a charger with a cell phone, enabling you to fully charge the Fantic vacuums on the go at any time. Fantic is offering both the V8 and the V7 on special for Amazon Prime Day. Hit the link in our video description to get either of these and be ready for any mess your kids or the rocks can throw at your car. All right, so I'm gonna have a go, and then young Zach, who is the same age as me, is, <laughs> is gonna go. It's just Zach's birthday. Wish him a happy 41. Let's do it. And torque. Yes! The crazy thing about this car is that it just doesn't sound like any other Porsche. It's not that high-pitched wail of a GT3 or an RS car. It's got this low rumble and this guttural sound that I think is more like a World War II aircraft than, than another car. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, Woo! And what's great about this car is it has more chassis than engine from the factory. And so by adding 150 horsepower, 150 torque, and shortening the gears, you're not actually overwhelming the car. It's fine. Yeah, it was ready for it. The response is just... It doesn't even feel like there's a power band, it just feels like there's power. All over. Always. It's such a, it's such a unique sound. I've never heard a car like this. Sounds like war. Sounds like the end of the world. And part of the reason it sounds like that is not only because it's been bored and stroked, but because the Spider and the Cayman do not have an exhaust that comes together like a 911. It's two synchronized three cylinders straight out the back, so it doesn't blend. But at the top top, you get a little bit of that Porsche drilling sound where everything gets really tight together. I mean, it's a very unique sound. And you do get some burble, but that is not a burble tune. That is what the burble tunes are trying to emulate. That is a true high compression uh, pop and bang. This engine is 13 and a half to one compression, which is very high, although the stock engine is 13.0, so it's already high. Stock engine's what, like 400 horsepower out of the four liter? It's 414. <laughs> Woo! Now that, that is delightful. That is, that is unique and pretty explosive. <laughs> that in is terms pretty, of speed pretty, and pretty the, good. The violent sound, it's great. I think you should have a go. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You should definitely have a go. Something I just noticed. Oh. Not only do you have PPF on the entire car, yeah. you still have the protective film on your stereo and on your dead pedal. I know. I haven't <laughs> taken them off yet. This is this is going to be a moment. Do you? Right. I mean, do you want to leave it on forever? I, I don't give a shit. The gray. I think. I think the green triangle though breaks up this color here we go, and actually ready? doesn't help. Watch me now. It's just not a good accent. Okay. Here we go. This is big. This is big. Unboxing my multimedia unit. <laughs> there you go. You have it. Zach has pressured me into removing the screen protector on my car 
after one year of ownership. That's what I did. <laughs> I did it for a year. Yeah. Every time I get in this thing, I'm just like, what is this kind of highlighter green triangle? No, it's the, it's the thing. That way I could sell it later and go original OEM. Uh, yeah. No fingerprints on this. Right. Totally different engine completely. Right. right. And gears and qua- and rear end and brake color and clear corn. Yeah. But this Heavily is modded stock. car. No, oh. So you have to put in the mode, the loud mode. And the sport mode. The idle is very good. Your clutch pedal is pretty... It's heavy. Far, it's heavy, yeah. It's, it's heavy. It's not... Some effort. It, yeah, well, the, the in order to handle the power, you know, they did have to put a heavier-duty clutch. Right. And with that, unfortunately, comes a heavier-duty clutch pedal. It's not so heavy that it, like, it bothers me, but it's the only thing about the car where you're like, this is a modified car. Yeah, true. You know? Well, and this sound well the sound for sure <laughs> but like but like porsche like could have done that um we don't i don't think we need air conditioning on right now this um, is awesome oh yeah this, I've, I've never heard a porsche sound like this maybe a race car at like laguna seca once or something but not a but not tap. a modern one maybe like no, no, an old no. race yeah car. yeah old yeah. race car jeez it's dude. just totally totally different here's the part where zach scares me in my own car wouldn't be the first time at least this seat adjusts. I couldn't drive your Corvette because the oh, seat yeah, bolted down. That was your safety mechanism. Oh, the echo off the wall. What? Yeah, so I mean, it's, good. it's about that torque shove from 3500. That's what makes it a street car, you know, and not a race car. It just, it feels like the torque and power band is flat. Yeah. Until you probably get to like seven, and then there's a little bit more. And the, the sound is intoxicating. That is absolutely great. It's just so different. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it re- okay. Revs up quick. I got to get used to that. Yeah, light flywheel. I have driven this once before this. And you were limited to six and grand. And I was limited to six grand. God, we were just so curtailed. What were we doing? You know, those first 3,000 miles are frustrating. This really highlights how good these cars are. Like you said, the fact it can take all this power. PCCBs, yep, all glad, you need. Glad we have a really stiff brake pedal, but that's kind of what Porsche that's does. That's stock. Like really stiff. Yeah. You gotta really that get on them. Totally OEM suspension. Um, I forgot to mention the wheels. HRE R101 lightweight wheels, saves three pounds a corner. Stock size, stock ride height. That's, that means it's still a usable car. I can't believe there's no resistance as you go up the rev range. Yeah. Like it does not slow down its acceleration through the RPM. Whoa. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It rips. <laughs> it revs so <laughs> dude, this is what a great engine. Yeah, this all made this makes it. <laughs> Man, third, break. third is where it's at. Yeah. Third is nasty. Yeah, you just want to go down to five, back to seven. Yeah. Back to eight. Wow, dude, the, it revs so, so quick. Yeah. And I, I mean, I drove that 911 ST like two weeks ago. This feels like it revs up as quickly. This, doesn't this accelerate quicker than that? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> that you had to get in the power band and then right. it really flew. But this is just, it's all power band. Like, this has, this all has more, power band. This has more shove than that did. Like, you know, I hit, I hit it in, at four, yeah. and you feel it kick. Yeah. And the ST was fast, but it was like, it was just a ramp. You know, it was like a 45 right. degree angle ramp, but yeah. there's still a ramp. This is just like a jump. Well, so, you know, that's the same thing with Spider RS, which is, you know, almost the same engine as the ST. The, the Spider RS, the GT4 RS, that's clearly a racing engine, right? Where if you keep it at, six to nine thousand it's just crazy 
but below that, it's nice, but it's not it's not mind blowing, right? Where this is a is a is a streetcar California Canyon hot rod. Yeah. Where it's all about that power from three. You know, you want to be able to squirt out of that second gear corner without going to first. Right. You know, you want to you want to be able to have a, a real good passing power on the highway without dropping two gears or not shift if too much if you don't have to. You know, some right. cars you have to like constantly change gear, and that that can be fun. But this, I mean, you can just rip in third. Yeah. It smells a little bit like piss. It does smell a little like piss, but like it's not the car. I hope it's not, the, it's car. not the car. Okay. If the car smells like, no, we're the bathrooms are like right there. Okay. We must. It's I'll cut this be, part out. But yeah. For a second. No, no, that smells like piss, but it's the it's we're downwind of the bathroom. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this car. Anyway, this car occasionally does have some smells if you get the brakes really hot or whatever. Well, you got to put the plutonium sludge in in the thing. That so doesn't like, smell like piss. I, I don't know what it smells like. I just know it's flammable. So you know, to to me. Manual gearbox, right? Huge power, lightweight, but comfortable seats. A compliance of we have the shocks in comfort, so it's got to be usable. It's got to be really fast. It's got to be analog and engaging. Game. I on. think this is absolutely like the perfect car. I tr I really really <laughs> mean crazy, that. Right? Like the suspension feels exactly like what I want a sports car to be, and then you have all the torque. We don't have to wait for turbo to hit. Yeah. I mean, all of it. All of it. You know, like, the modern stuff, even the, the crazy McLarens and the Ferraris, like, that stuff is amazing, but I don't, like, covet that. This is, like, the the most modern a car can be while still just being insane and, and, and levels of performance. It feels old the most, in the, the right The most places. analog a car can be yeah. while still being in insane levels of performance. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, it is a great assembly of eras. Crazy, I think. right? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's the best. Shout out to Rick Demand. Shout out to HRE Wheels. Shout out to R Strata. Shout out to Larry Ammo NYC for all the uh, amazing uh, things that they've done on this car. Shout out to Porsche of Englewood, New Jersey for getting me the allocation. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you later. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.